Yeah, it was obviously really special to be able to bring Laura Harper back home. Uh, I know we played them uh, when she was at Coppin State, and then last year uh, we played Towson down in Florida. But this one was even more special, being able to bring her back home with her team and especially the standard that, that she set for the program. Uh, we always love this day. It's a, a really fun day with so much energy in the building. Uh, you know, we, we hope these kids tell their parents they want to come back and that we've made them Maryland fans for life. So it was uh, really special to show them uh, possibly where they could go one day and what it's like on, on a college campus. But I thought we, we fed off of that energy. Uh, I loved our intensity to, to start the first half. Uh, we practiced in the morning, so I, I guess this is a good tip time for, for us. And um, it started with Bree. Uh, I thought she, you know, she scored nine of our, our first 11 points. She's our motor out there. I, I thought she took that to heart and, and uh, played one of her best games yet. Um, only allowing them one offensive rebounds in the uh, one rebound in, in the first half was a big difference as well. But credit Towson, they're a really good team and I thought they came out of the locker room in the third quarter and uh, showed their fight and, and their grit that they weren't going to quit, which is a characteristic uh, of Coach Harper. Um, but a lot of good things for us to be able to take out of this game. Hey, y'all. Hey, Start with you, Bree. Um, matched a career high. Coming out of the gate, you know, you were really aggressive attacking, um, getting out in transition. Was that a conscious thought, or was that something more of what they presented? And just in general, how much more and more comfortable are you getting? Um, it was mostly what they presented. Um, every little hole that I saw, I know I can like get through it because I'm fast fast enough. So I was just doing like just going downhill and whoever I could hit or if I had the shot that I could take then I was taking it. But everybody else they like I was just playing my game, uh just coming out ready to um punch first and yeah. Bree, since you've entered the starting lineup, um you guys are only allowing fifty seven points a game. That's down from eighty uh when you weren't there. You know, what has that meant to you to kind of take a pride of playing defense and leading a, you know, recharged defensive attack, um, especially today? I thought it was your best defensive game. Um, I felt like just coming out and setting an emphasis on just staying contained and being disciplined on defense, uh, not getting too high, not getting too low, um, just staying at a medium pace. Um, that Just knowing, like, still give that energy, but not enough to, like, get a foul. So just, like, staying contained and doing everything I needed to do. I got to ask for any of the players, um, seems like this is the loudest Xfinity Center has been probably since last year's field trip game. Um, what does that energy and excitement do for you when you're on the court and there are thousands of screaming kids cheering for you? I think for me personally, it's just a really fun game to – the energy does. I think we definitely feed off that energy. Mm -hmm. And it's um, – even though it could be kind of chaotic, I think – it also prepares us for those tough road games where it's yeah. really loud, packed. Yeah. Um, but no, I think we would definitely feed off their energy, and I think it's fun to set an example for the little kids and you know inspire them through our play. Allie, um, taking on Towson, former team. I know it's a different team, different coach. But what was it like playing the Tigers today? Yeah, it was definitely excited. I was excited about this game since I saw the schedule. Um, I've been playing with Quinn for, like, I played with her for two years, and I played with Kylie since my freshman year, so it was really nice to see how their game has expanded. They're a great team, great program. Coach Harper did really well with them, um, but I really just wanted to win. <laughs> um, and I'm glad we did, but they did really well. I was just excited to play them. And, and your effort today, you know, points-wise and, and on the floor, just uh, was there a little extra, or how much extra was there, you know, knowing the opponent and, you know, the big game today? Yeah, I know it was definitely going to be competitive just because I know we both wanted to win. Um, but I just wanted to play my game. I didn't want to do too much because I want to play my game in, in Maryland basketball. So um, I'm just really glad we got the win, and it was a good team win. Hey, guys, congrats on the win. Uh, 37 bench points today. Can you talk about how just from 1 to 12 down, how you're such a complete team and how, you know, for the starters out there, how you can rely on the bench players to contribute in other ways too when you come out? Um, I feel like they come in every day and practice and show that, like, never their numbers is called. Oh, they're coming out ready to play. So I feel like <clears throat> this wasn't nothing new to them. I feel like they was just came in the game comfortable and was ready to play.
Um, to kind of add on to that, I also think I want to give a shout out to Hawa just because yeah. <laughs> she's a great big that has great vision. I mean, I've never seen someone like that, yeah. and she had a really good game today uh, coming off the bench. She really helped us, so yeah. shout out her. Yeah. Yep. How would you? Mm -hmm. um, con congrats on the win, guys. Uh, for Brene, uh, it seemed like you, in the third quarter, when you guys got down there early, took a timeout around, I believe, the six, seven minute mark, mm -hmm. and then you came out of that. And you hit three threes, and feel like it felt like you really got your shot back then. Uh, can you talk about what was maybe said during that timeout, or what <coughs> changed coming out of that break for you? I think it's just um, my teammates and my coaches around me, just staying, like helping me stay encouraged. You know, um, telling me that shoot or shoot, and just having that memory that you know if they don't if they don't fall, just make sure you knock down the next one. And I have been in kind of like a lull, but I think just like not getting too caught up into it, and just keep playing my game. I know there's a lot of other things that I can do on the floor to help my team. Hey, Brene, uh, real quick, I want to ask about Bree. What has stood out the most to you about um, her progression, um, especially these last couple weeks? I think what I'm most proud of for Bree is her composure. I think taking on that point guard um, role, sometimes it's easy to get sped up. Um, but just knowing <clears throat> how to stay poised and know, you know, time and place and when we need to push or when we need to settle and we need to run a play. So I think she's been doing really well, staying composed and not getting too high or too low, but just staying on the course. Thanks, sweet girl. For any of you guys, um, the zone, like 3-2, or was it 1-2-2? One, 1-2-2, two, two? Like, one, two, two. One, two, two. okay. So how, you know, how much did you guys know coming in that that was, was that a Towson-specific plan or was that something that you guys think – I mean, it worked pretty well, like something that you can run the rest of the year. Yeah, I think that's something newer that we did um, put in this week, and I think it's probably the most comfortable zone that that we are in and we like playing in. I think we can be really active, and we can also rebound well out of it. So I think it's working so far, and I do plan on <laughs> running it for the rest. Of and then the other thing, um, I had film session yesterday, and Coach B taught me uh, one better because at first I was kind of rocky, so I got my stuff together from one. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Thank, Thank, Thank you. 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 What did their energy and their ability to, to keep the tempo where it was with that defense um, show you about their resiliency and their hard work? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I thought twofold. I mean, Towson went to their bench as well, so there were different lineups in. But I like that we were able to continue to extend the lead and get stops on the defensive end. And, you know, again, I, it, like they spoke of it earlier, I can't say enough about Hawa and her – uh, energy, her attitude, it's contagious because she is so unselfish with her ability to pass, which I, I think has allowed her teammates to really feed off a, of her positive energy. Hey, Brennan. Uh, 50 points in paint, 34 um, fast break. How much of that was a, a, a conscious game plan coming in to be able to attack them that way? And, and what did you like about the way that you guys um, were able to kind of continue to attack and play downhill? Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we actually executed what, what we've been uh, kind of coaching and, and harping on. So points in the paint have been really important for us just to get those those touches. Uh, as you can see, playing inside out, uh, you know, I thought we were able to get some really great opposite kicks to Brene and just other teammates. And then uh, I thought, you know, our, our fast break, I thought Bree really controlled that today with, with her uh, push and tempo you know, being able to, to get up and down the floor. So I love where Bree's at. I mean, she's accepted a lot of responsibility where, you know, how she wants to play and has been an incredible spark for us and just keeps getting better and better every time she steps out on the floor. Shy, you know, Shy played less minutes today, obviously, but it felt like Bree was getting a lot more on-ball reps even when Shy was on the floor, kind of moving her back into that off-ball role she played more last year. What's that interplay been like, and has that been an emphasis for you to kind of let Shy be the roamer more so? Yeah, you know, we're working through it. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously our second quarters have been a concern for us, so that's an area that as a staff we're trying to tweak a little bit of, you know, playing Shy too many minutes or, or too many minutes at the one. So, you know, as 
we continue to build this for conference play. It's something that we've been really intentional of looking at and how we can control things. So, um, you know, I mean, those are things as we just continue to grow with, with, with this team. Um, Emily today, she had nine points and eight boards in 26 minutes. Just kind of, where have you seen her grow a little bit? Because we talked about Hawa, but yeah. Emily, I thought today had a pretty good um, game. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Emily's coming. I'm, I'm really excited for her. I love the piece that, that she added, the uh, the scoring piece today, because she's more than capable. But someone that, as a staff, and uh, I, I can trust. You know, she's uh, one. You know, plays great defense. Uh, she understands how to make the right plays. Uh, you know. Uh, values the basketball and, and possessions and um, is, is, is really growing in, into a great role for us. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Um, I saw you guys had that uh, full court press going a little bit in the first half. Can you talk to that defensively, uh, the mindset going on, and then how you can sort of shift that into conference play, how you can adjust and tweak it if need be? Yeah, uh, you know, I think that's been something that we've been really intentional of showing film with our team. I think we're more than, than capable when you look at, you know, Bree and Shy, and, you know, once we get Lav back and some of that athleticism that, that we have in, in the backcourt. So uh, I thought they were really good. They, they've really been taking film and, and our press and really starting to, to kind of understand rotations and, and slides out of it. Hey, Coach, uh, today you had a few moments where you had to line up with Faith, Allie, and Emily, kind of like a three-big lineup. Do you see that continuing in the future? What do you like about that lineup? Um, you know, yeah, I, I think it depends on the opponent. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it's size over speed. Uh, I think it, it depends on what your different matchups uh, look like. But, um, yeah, I, I thought they were able to give us more of an kind of an inside uh, outside approach. Just a real quickie. Can you update us on Lev, how she's um, progressing, if how much she's been able to do in practices, if anything? Yeah. Um, no, you know, she's day to day. Obviously, she's um, been doing her own rehab and, and conditioning, and she hasn't uh, been in practice yet. But, you know, now we're, what, uh, have a week within finals and, and practices. So uh, we're hoping to, to be able to get her back. Um, hey, Coach. Congrats on the win. Um, it seemed it in a game like this with uh, or the field trip game for Maryland. Uh, it seems like your players have a lot of fun. Um, and I was just wondering, is it any different for you coaching in an atmosphere like this? I enjoy it. Uh, I, I think uh, you know. I don't know about our fans when they scream for two hours, but I, I think it's energy, the the music. I, I know uh, when my boys were young, uh, just how special this was to to them to be able to come. Uh, they were still begging to come today, but they had to go to high school and and their classes. So. Um, but I, I know it, it's really important. It's something that uh, we don't take lightly, you know, being role models for uh, all the boys and girls out there and maybe seeing us for, for the first time. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a, a special game that we always uh, appreciate being able to play and be a part of. 